being true to myself. When you really take a look at yourself and you feel sorry for that person, it just makes me angry. I feel like a real, honest life change is going to happen for me. Well, you're going to kill it. So, just go get what you want. You know, go get it. Go make everything happen. I know that I'm going to tell him. I just don't feel like I'm ready yet. Vanessa wants to lose 100 pounds, and she has given herself 90 days to lose that. That's a little bit crazy and somewhat unrealistic. Telling Kyle how I feel is terrifying. I just wanted to tell you that I like you as my friend. <laughs> I'm Vanessa, I'm 30 years old, and I'm 235 pounds. My weight definitely holds me back um, from just being myself. This is like, I always call this my, my workout, my daily workout. I feel like a second class citizen. I feel like no matter how great I am, no matter how respectful I am, no matter how kind I am, I will always be judged because of the way I look. She's lazy. She doesn't care. I feel like I'm beautiful on the inside, and I want my outside to match. I just hate having this stomach here. Well, everyone is wearing just gorgeous dresses. I have to put on some type of cardigan, cardigan to, to mask these things right here. When you really take a look at yourself and you just don't know that person and you feel sorry for that person, it, it just makes me angry. I have these moments where I just feel empty, like I have nothing. And I turn to food for comfort. I won't answer my phone. I won't get up from the couch all day, and I'll order food and eat. I exit my consciousness, and it happens while I'm unconscious. By the time I'm done eating, and I have already started getting rid of the evidence, do I kind of realize, oh my god, I did that. I actually just did that. I don't want to feel disgust towards myself. I just want to feel love. I am a professional singer, musician for a living. When I perform, I am a completely different person. In my mind, my visual is always this badass on the stage. My weight has held me back from opportunities where you have to be specific weight and or fit into specific outfits. This guitar, oh. I'll come off the stage just feeling so high. And I'll have a moment where, you know, I have fans and friends and they're all there and they're taking pictures and they're posting it and they're tagging me and I see it and, and it's not her. And then I, all of a sudden, no matter how great my performance was, I just go from the highest of highs to just crashing. I probably work in about eight bands. Rembrandt is my favorite. I started in Rembrandt close to seven years ago. It really was my intro into the wedding corporate event performance world. There is somebody super special to me who's in Rembrandt, Kyle, even though he has absolutely no idea that I feel this way. We have this thing called Scotch Emergency. After like maybe a especially hard gig or we get out a little bit early and he wants to hang out, we'll call Scotch Emergency, which is basically like, you know, the bat signal in the sky saying like, you know, all right, you better come because this is going down. My weight has held me back from being more forward with my feelings. 
I'm giving myself three months to lose 100 pounds and tell Kyle how I feel about him. I want the Vanessa that I know is in there. I want her to tell him. I just want to feel love. How can anybody love me if I don't love myself? Tonight, I am having friends over to kind of tell them about my journey. <laughs> and I'm super nervous to tell my Rembrandt band family because my crush is in the band. And I know that they're going to be super supportive, but it's also still nerve wracking because some of them got some big mouths. <laughs> I met Vanessa. She became my vocal coach at first, and we've been friends ever since. Have you guys found the wine opener and all that stuff? Love it. Yeah. Vanessa invited me over to tell me something, uh, a secret, and I'm really anxious to know what it is. So, I should tell you why I brought all of you guys here. I am in a place where I want to change my life dramatically. And there are a lot of things that I have not done because I feel like my weight holds me back. I, there are a lot of things that I cannot do because I've been rejected because of my weight um, for years. So I am embarking on a fitness journey. I weigh 235 pounds. My goal is 135. It's a huge goal, but it's my goal. It's not about you losing weight and feeling like, oh, now I'm hot. You need to accept that you're beautiful now. You are. I love you guys for that. I know that it's not about that. It's about me. When I am done with this fitness journey and I've gotten to the point where I feel just amazing and incredible, I'm going to confront um, a crush. And it just so happens that my crush is in the Rembrandt band. And that person is Kyle. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not do that one. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I know for a fact he's totally available. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Kyle is just such a sweet, humble, awesome guy. And uh, I think that Kyle and Vanessa have a real chance. I think they make a good friendship. And I think when you have that already built in, you can build a great relationship out of it. Kyle is one of the kindest, most incredible people that I've ever known. You know, like he's brilliant and accomplished in, in a very huge way, only you would never know it. And that's something that I just really love about him. Oh, I don't get all emotional when I talk about that. Oh, <laughs> so how, how are you gonna confront him? Like, how is that? I don't even know. I don't even know. This is so scary right now. <laughs> this is scary for us. Like, <laughs> but like, for, like, how many months until you confront him, at least? Three. Three months? I'm really excited to just shed these walls that I put up and just be that Vanessa Bryan that's inside. I know Vanessa through music. We play in the same band together. You know, she's always struggled with her weight ever since I've known her. Nothing wrong with that, she's still beautiful inside and out. But for me, it's more of an issue of uh, Vanessa's discipline. Vanessa's a partier. She'll drink me under the table. That's just the type of person she is. Who needs more wine? Here. I'm more concerned about her staying true to her goals. <laughs> I'm happy for her, and I'm happy that she has this help. I just, I'm concerned because she can get um, overwhelmed really easily. I want her to truly embrace the beauty that everybody else sees. She doesn't quite understand yet. I'm so glad that you guys came. Man, you you must go, because like I gotta wake up. 6.30. I gotta start my workout. I gotta start. I gotta start. You guys support me, though, so thank you so much for coming. Cheers, cheers it out. Cheers. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Ah! Walking to my first workout. My trainer. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I don't know whether to laugh or cry right now. But I know that this is going to be a huge, life-changing thing. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm Vanessa. I'm Yadi. Yadi. Hi. 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 Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm Coach Yadi, and I've been a personal trainer now for over 14 years. 
I know that Vanessa is looking to make major changes in her life. I can't wait to hear what her vision and goals are. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm 30 years old and I weigh 235 pounds. Okay. I would like to get down to maybe 135. You want to sing while you're doing that? No. <laughs> I'm sweating all over myself. At this point, I'm afraid of quitting. Stop Putting myself out there and telling Kyle how I feel is terrifying. I feel like a real, honest life change is gonna happen for me. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm 30 years old and I weigh 235 pounds. Okay. I would like to get down to maybe 135. Okay. And I kind of like to push myself to be in the best shape of my life. Well, I, that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to be pushing <laughs> awesome. you to do that. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. I want to know, though, why you think that in this time it is going to be different than any other time. And maybe you can share with me, like, what you've done in the past. Well, yeah, um, my entire life, my weight's been a constant struggle, and I've lost and gained uh, tremendous amounts of weight okay. very quickly. Before, it was just about the losing, losing the weight, and now I want to have a lifestyle that I can really just live with for the rest of my life. Okay. And also, like, um... <laughs> uh, also, I want to start dating again, and... Okay. Is it just general dating, or is there somebody, like, that you well, actually had in mind? Yeah, I do have a, a crush on a friend of mine. Okay. And so we've been hanging out a lot, but I would like to be seen as more than just a friend. Mm -hmm. And, um, I feel like this... Me changing myself will help with my confidence overall, which will help with the dating. Right. You know, which will help me be confident to kind of tell him how I feel. So, and then does he know or? No, he, he has no idea. He's so clueless. <laughs> For real, you gotta own it. Yeah. Okay. So. Vanessa wants to lose 100 pounds in 90 days. It's a really aggressive goal, but I'm willing and ready to help her. Working out doesn't have to be long hours. It just has to be really effective when you do it. And there's different sorts of workouts being very dynamic. Okay. I'll cue you as to when you're supposed to be moving through this. On your marks, get set. Go for it. And all the way up. Good. Good. Right there. We got to get you to get those heels up, up, up. Kick your booty. Can you actually kick your own booty? Oh, my God. There you go. There you go. You'll get it. The lighter you become in your body, the easier it's going to get. I promise. This is just our first workout. It can only get better from here. Vanessa has this internal beauty that just wants to come out and shine. And I'm ready to take her there, and I think she's ready to take herself there. You got it? Got it. Yep. You want to sing while you're doing this? No! <laughs> and also try to stay like a little ninja as you run up. So try not to make too much noise. Soften it up. That way it's softer on your joints. I'm sweating all over myself. She basically explains the workout. It's like, oh, it's so easy. I'm like, okay. And no, it's not easy at all. At this point, I'm afraid of quitting. How do you feel? If you can breathe, then you can tell me. Oh, I feel like I swallowed a bowling ball. Stay so right here. Mm. Oh. Well, I'm just oh. trying to breathe right now. Okay. I'm just trying to stay alive right now. It's not easy. No. Is it worth it? Yeah. It's worth it. I just... I need to fix my attitude. It was just the first day, and I made it through it, and now it's real. So... I'm excited, and um, I'm scared because there's always that failure. I've had a lot of failures in my life, and... Um, uh, I really don't want this to be one of them. First week, and I'm shopping uh, for my my good groceries. And I gotta say, I did a pretty good job. I'm super excited to start this whole process. And uh, yeah. You look beautiful tonight. Thank you. Tonight is Scotch emergency. We are here um, to hang out with my crush Kyle and my friends. How was the game? Going on? How's it going? <laughs> oh, we got killed. We got killed. Oh. I'm feeling super nervous. Putting myself out there and telling Kyle how I feel is 
terrifying. All right, what are we choosing to? Scott's birthday! Scott's birthday! Yes! Yes! The only comfort I have is that even though I may have my heart completely broken, what brings me comfort is that he is a genuinely good man. I feel like a real, like a real honest, like life change is gonna happen for me. Gigs I've been fired from, gigs that I can't get, all of that has been about my weight. It's never been about my voice. They're like, oh yeah, you're you're perfect, you're fine, blah blah blah. blah. They ask my height, and my weight, and then they're like, you can do some badass stuff. Yeah, well, so are you. I know, but it's whatever. I'm, I'm not trying to make it about me. I'm saying like, you guys. I know you're not. Well, you're gonna kill it. So, just go get what you want. You know, go get it. You're gonna be fine. Oh my god. So, I'm about to tell him how I feel. You know what? I gotta tell you something. I'm just feeling really nervous. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna remember this moment for the rest of my life. It's cool. Yeah, it's a good little hang, too. I like the spot. He's dated, like, model looking women and uh i just fear that until i get to that point there's no use in me saying anything i just don't feel like i'm ready yet i woke up next to this that's fast food Whoa, why? we found a box of whatever you had to eat the next morning i felt powerless i really care but I need you to care as much as I care. Because who the f cares if you don't care? Good morning. I had my um, hangout with uh, Kyle last night at the bar. And I had quite a few. And I woke up next to this. That's fast food. Wow, why? <sighs> All right, I am heading into my workout with Coach Yadi. I wonder what she's got in store for me. It's probably not good, but we shall see. What's going on, girl? Oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Yeah, come have a seat. I want to know how you're doing. I'm good. I'm good. I'm a little tired. I went out, um, went out last night with my friends and Kyle. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kyle, your crush Kyle? Yeah. And uh, we had a few drinks. So I was pretty lit. I was pretty lit last night. We had a good time and... Um... Lit, lit, lit. <laughs> what is lit mean? Like, me? it was super buzz. But anyway, it was, it was cool. It was fun. Um, except for this morning. Okay. And uh, woke up next to some, some tacos. Empty. All done. An empty box? Empty. Oh. Yeah. Got it. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm a little bit upset because I can't help somebody that doesn't want to be helped. I just want to communicate really clear and have her be completely honest with me with what she does want. I want the best for you. You know, I really, like, like I really care. I've heard you say that you've self-sabotaged in the past. Yeah? How did it make you feel, truly, when you found the box of whatever you had eaten the next morning? I felt powerless. I really care. But I need you to care as much as I care. Because who the f cares if you don't care? I never, like, had anyone really say those things to me. So I appreciate that. And it was disappointing to me, too. So, okay. If I'm wasting your time, I'm wasting my time. I feel like it was my responsibility to share what I did last night because I have to let her know my successes and I also have to let her know when I fail because I need her to help me. And how do I expect to change and to get any better if I don't own my mistakes? We're gonna take this outside, grab on. I just could see that her actions weren't lining up with what she has committed to.
I came in with a plan today, and so I have to create now a different plan for this girl. Now it's gotta be a workout that's intense, and it's gonna be to the point. So I'm gonna give her 150 wall balls, and it's a challenge as it is, but now more challenging because she's hungover. But Vanessa needs a wake-up call. Okay, so you're gonna start here, sit, toss, and catch, and sit right back down, all the way down into the ball. You have 150. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I don't believe that there's a mistake in what she did. Good. Because it got her to see how much she really wants this. One on one. When I see her again, it's quite possible that her mind has shifted a little bit. Come on, 15, you got it. Keep it up, 14, stay strong, Vanessa. And maybe taking this that much more serious. Push, two, come on, and one. Thank you very much. Who does that? Who does what? 150 of those. You do. <laughs> Jump on it. Okay, so right now you're at 212 pounds and you started at 235. Think about that and be proud of yourself of all that you've accomplished. So we're gonna kick some butt today, yes? Yes. Yes. Energy, energy, energy. Let's go. We got more. Five. Come on. Four. Three. A moment uh, I looked at the scale and I had lost um, three pounds three pounds and um, immediately I ordered food and when the food got got to my house I, I threw it away uh, I really did I threw it away and it's it, it must have been like $40 worth of takeout I find that that is one of my major victories um, for this week we're coming to a close up your halfway mark and yeah, we need to get this ballpark in so we know where we're headed. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Almost 35 pounds. 203, 203, almost yeah. 35 pounds. Whew. Okay, let's try and get below 200 next week. All right. Awesome. Okay, we got work to do. I struggle with pushing myself. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of sacrifice. We got it. <sighs> and I have six weeks left. The whole point of the goal is to do everything to work towards it. That's what my energy is going towards. So I know that I give 100% every day, no matter where. That number falls in the end. My girls Leanne and Dasha are coming over to hang out. I haven't had any girl time, so they're like knocking on my door like, but that's where are you? Hey. Uh, and I'm gonna see my girls. You look great, you look amazing. <laughs> you look like a rock star right now. Thank you, I needed that. You know, like, it's nice to just get out of workout clothes for a little bit. Are you getting used to the whole, like, working out and... Uh, yeah, yeah, like, I, I feel like I'm just in the zone now. Like, my goal is 135. I'm gonna fight with everything that I have to make that goal. What you trying to be, what you trying to look like? This Big booties are in. I'm concerned about it being about a number and not about a feeling. I've struggled with my weight too, like up and down. And we're women, so, you know, hey, like we're constantly being told that we're good or bad based on our weight. How has the weight loss changed you? Has it changed the way you feel about Kyle? Throughout this process, I have become more bold and in that boldness have actually put that energy forth towards him for the first time and I'm feeling like I'm kind of receiving it back. I'm not sure, I can't be sure of that, but it's making me more invested. So my, I feel like my feelings have gotten stronger and I feel like I've invested part of myself, whereas before I was too scared. Um, which makes it more scary. You gotta take a risk or she'll never know. So, yeah. <sighs> you feel like you do have a food addiction. Yeah. I feel like I should be able to handle this, but I can't. Vanessa has a food addiction. It has definitely set us back. 
I've been doing so good these last couple weeks. You know, every time I get the urge to order food in, I started kind of letting my guard down in that department because I've been working so hard now on on my weight loss and my goals. And, um, well, let me just show you. I can't do this anymore. I feel super stressed out today because I've been slipping on my diet. Everything is just a mess right now. So let's see where you're at today. All and right. let's see how we can push forward. Okay, girlfriend, you're at 190 pounds, 45 pounds down. We have a month left to work really hard, tightening up every little thing that we possibly can. And so I want to talk to you, but I want to get you moving a little bit, too. So let's come over here. I'm proud of myself. I feel like, number-wise, I've lost a lot of weight in a small amount of time. But at the same time, I know I have the same amount of weight to lose in half the time. How are you feeling about 55 pounds in one month? Is that realistic? I feel scared to even fathom losing 55 in one month. You know, it's just kind of like, it's an unrealistic expectation. And if I stand there at the end and I know in my heart that I did all those things, you know, that number won't mean as much. Would you say that throughout this journey, you've given nutrition the very best? Um, no. Okay. Where do you feel is your downfall in the nutrition aspect? It's just dealing with my addiction. You feel like you do have a food addiction? <laughs> yeah. Okay. A lot of the times when we have addictions and so on. Sorry, so I can't forth. talk about this when I'm doing this. Okay. I need to stop. Okay. Would you like to talk about it outside or I just don't want to be rowing and have sure, like this sure. conversation with you. I got it. You know, like I just I've struggled with my whole life and it happens when I find myself to be the most happy and the most proud of myself. I understand that the odds are stacked absolutely not in my favor. I mean, you know, I gotta find a way to push myself to, in a way that I don't even understand. You know, I have no doubt that this is something that you can totally overcome. But if this doesn't shift, you're gonna go back. And these triggers will come up. And right now, you're at a moment where you do have incredible support around you. Vanessa has a food addiction. I think it has definitely set us back in our journey, but I think it's the step in the right direction for her to admit it, first and foremost, to say, I have an addiction. From there, we can move forward. <sighs> all right, girl, so let's get a workout in. You ready to wipe all your tears mm. and make this happen? Yeah, definitely. This is definitely the point of no return. Ultimately, I just have to say that I can do it. I can't let any negativity enter my mind when it comes to this, or it's just a wash. During this transformative process, I just feel like if the time was any time, the time is now. In two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is so important to me that I take this last month and I just annihilate it. <sighs> It's another challenge to myself. I'm working out every day. I'm doing all these things. I can't wait to see my transformation. You started 235 pounds. 166 pounds, girl. Oh my God. That is 69 pounds. I haven't had time to really process that I am below 200 pounds. Yeah, girl, right here, right here, right here. Come on, one, two, three. Amazing. You can see all of this weight loss visually, but on the inside, I am connecting with parts of these little pieces of happiness that I didn't have access to before. Woo! Oh! 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 
235 is where you started, 100 days ago. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, girl. It's my final win. I couldn't sleep last night. I know that I did everything I could. So here we go. Hi, Skinny hey. Minnie. How are you? I'm good, girl. You ready? Let's do it. Oh my goodness, girl. 235 is where you started 100 days ago. You're at 153. Dude, that is incredible. You've come such a long way. And it's a rebirth, yeah, and it's exciting, it's awesome. It's a death, too. <laughs> right. That person that I met while going through this process, I really, I really want to get to know her, okay. keep her around, because she's pretty badass. <laughs> I still can't believe it. So do you feel now, after three months, better about yourself than when you started? Yeah, I've saved my life but I also realized what it took mm -hmm. I actually worked on not just the weight this time around I worked on myself and I worked on actually being healthy it was a completely different way of doing this and I feel like it's gonna continue for the rest of my life that's amazing how do you plan to celebrate this. I'm gonna just have this huge party and like, <sighs> I'm gonna be basically, you know, telling Kyle how I feel about him. You know, yeah. I wrote a song about this uh, entire process. I'm gonna reveal it at my reveal, as well as revealing my body in front of my, my friends and my family. Vanessa, since this is our last time together, we're gonna have one last badass workout. Let's do it. Come on. When I was bigger, that darkness gave me a slight depression. And for the first time in my life, I've been able to snap out of it. I feel like I'm exerting less energy towards trying to be liked and putting more energy into liking myself. The outcome of that is me having the confidence to tell Kyle how I feel. It just feels good. Today's a very special day for me. I get to see her revelation. The last time I saw her was during the midway point. I can't wait. I saw her a month ago, and I'm expecting to see another big change. I know this past few weeks she's been working really crazy hard, so I'm looking forward to seeing her tonight.
totally proud of her. She really knocked this one out of the park. I saw my daughter just transform to this beautiful butterfly. So proud of her. There's so much more I want to say about my journey, but I have written a song about it. So I'd love to ask the band to come on stage, please. Now, uh, before we start, I would like to take a moment to ask uh, Kyle actually to follow me off stage. I just wanted to tell you that I, uh, <laughs> that I like you as more than a friend. Now, uh, before we start, I would like to take a moment to ask uh, Kyle actually to follow me off stage. They're like, uh. <laughs> Telling Kyle how I feel is terrifying. I'm just out of my mind nervous, you know? Uh, but when I have that type of connection with someone, it means a lot to me. So when it does cross into, hey, I might have feelings for this person, I normally choose the friendship. This time I'm choosing my heart. Uh, this, I have never been so happy that I You look have. amazing. You're Thank great. you, really? Yeah, it's an amazing change. It's oh awesome. Oh my god. So. <laughs> yeah. You in particular, have been such a huge motivation for me. Um, just, you always say the best things of me, and you've always told me without a doubt, no matter what, that if I put my mind to it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. and, and you did. And I did, <laughs> and I thank you so much sure. for my heart for that. And I just wanted to tell you that I, uh, <laughs> that I like you as more than a friend. Okay. And I just wanted to ask you if maybe for a night we could put Splash Emergency <laughs> on the shelf and maybe go out on a real date. Sure. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> now you've been, I mean, you're inspirational. This has been incredible. Thank you. Yeah, and you've just taken it to the next level with all this. <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> Uh, definitely very surprised. I did not, uh, I didn't see, even coming back here, I didn't, I didn't expect that. So, I think Vanessa's incredible. I don't know what to say. <laughs> we'll be inspiring each other for a long time, I'm sure. I love it. No, <laughs> no thank, right. thanks for asking me to be part of this. Yes, thank you for doing it. Yeah. Let's go we'll kill it on the performance. Yes, let's kill it. I knew that when I told him how I felt, it could go either way, but now I feel a lot better about myself and I feel proud of myself. Today was the opportunity of a lifetime for me. And what makes it that much sweeter is that I created this opportunity. was the victory of every second of every day for the past few months. And I 